The Grow My Cleaning Company podcast helps owners of cleaning companies just like you to grow your company and yourself so you can make more money and finally get the time and money freedom that probably got you into this business. Discover how to automate and create systems that allow you to grow like crazy without losing control. If you dig the show and want to show some love, subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes. It really helps. Enjoy the show. All right, Sasha, where are you at? So right, well, I have can... like a little bit of a cold, so I'm just going to try to keep it on the DL. I have a little bit of a cold and I caffeinated before this to overcome and I'm trying to be ready for you guys. As soon yeah. as it's over, I'm going to go curl up and not talk or move. So it's totally Wait, no judgment. Yeah. Okay, good, good. <laughs> um, all right, cool. Hit us with a, a cold celebration. Okay, so I feel like we finally have standards. I didn't know we ha- we didn't have them for a long time. Um, we did it. And we finally got them. I think like j- literally just this week, we were like, I mean, in, in addition to the values, right? We were like, this actually isn't okay with us. And like, we don't need it for our business. And it was just like a huge relief. And so I I, I think that sounds like probably ridiculous because I feel like who would have a business without standards? But we did. It, it, super comparative, right? Like you're like, it super sounds ridiculous. Like, a, to me and B, if it does, who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah. so, so when you say, yeah. I'm curious, cause I want to, I want to share your celebration with you. When you okay. say standards, like around the clients yeah. being accepted around the employees, both. tell me more. Oh my gosh, both. Okay. Yeah. Both. So like I was on a cleaning service today and I was just thinking, man, what are we doing here? So it's like a monthly clean and it's just all the stuff that you remember how I was asking you why you don't take monthly clients. Mm-hmm. I totally got it today. I was like, they don't keep up in between the times we're here. Like it's not a priority. There was just like stuff everywhere. Um, and we found like a bunch of just super gross stuff that I was like, how could we even have been here 30 days ago? But we were. And um, I mean, it took like twice the time. I think we made like $20. So, <clears throat> you know, that. And then also just with hiring, you know, we had somebody who who went through all the way to the cleaning interview and she was absolutely amazing and she did exceptional on the cleaning. And then that night she texted me and she's at the gas station and she was like, I don't have any money for gas. Like I need um, you to like forward me money. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, we, you don't even work here yet. Right. Yeah. And, and I feel like for a while, like, I mean, I don't know, that used to be normal, unfortunately, where I would be like, oh, okay, I understand. And then I was like, I saw her message and I was like, no, like you cannot work here if you don't have money for gas and you're messaging me on like day four. And so she was like Audi and then like the client today, like we're just, we're just kind of starting to pull the weeds. That is going to feel so good, Sasha. Yeah, like, like I literally can't yeah. wait. I mean, I yeah. feel a little bit nervous because I'm like, you know, we we're we're definitely low on staff and then we're going to start shedding clients. But like we will not grow our business with these types of clients or the types of cleaners that we add. The cool thing is, Sasha, I've done this <laughs> dozens of times, if not hundreds <laughs> with clients right <laughs> at your revenue level. Even if we lost 20 grand a month in revenue, I'll bet you we could still make more profit in your pocket. Yeah with a way better experience. So I think, okay. I can't remember if you were the one I gave this example to. Um, I had so many Slack conversations, I can't remember who was who. But I see you and this other person, unless that other person was you, as a overgrown shrub that just looks like a mess. And then you yeah. you, you prune it and it's like, ah, it's dead. Like I've seen, like when the gardeners come, they prune my stuff. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but then it like comes back nice. Yeah. Like you're super <laughs> overgrown. And when you, it gets pruned, you're like, ah, it can be emotionally like, oh my gosh. But then a week or two later for you to probably be a couple months, you're back healthy. So the cool thing is, you know, a lot of times it's tough when people are just starting out, you know, five, 10, 15 grand and they prune down. It's like, ah, at your size, I'll bet you we get rid of a third of your clients if they're the wrong ones. And if, as long as the, the two thirds that we keep in terms of employees and clients are good, you will make more money and you'll grow so much faster. So you'll, yeah. it, it, it'll felt like, oh my God, it took so long and it was so hard to get here to mm-hmm. get back. We'll take it's so funny. It'll be like, it took me a year to two years or however long to build this thing. They go down by 20 or 30% in the first month or two. They yeah. grow that back, but healthy in like two or three months. And mm-hmm. then they, then the hockey sticks, that's when you're like, okay, now I got a foundation. So okay. again, if you're looking for like two weeks, which you're not, you're going to be disappointed. If you look mm-hmm. back six months from now and you're consistent with what we tell you, you're going to, you won't even recognize your business. Like we've done this over and over again. So you're really at a great okay. spot. Okay. 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 Sounds good. Totally makes sense. Yeah. It's, it's like very uncomfortable, but I understand this is part of the process. 
super uncomfortable. And I love that you're acknowledging it and going, the monkey brain is not in charge. The adults are, you know, the monkey brain can scream and complain and throw a tantrum. That's fine. But the adults are talking. We're going to make the decisions. And that's why we like doing it together, right? Like yeah. if you're just reading a book or I just told you once and we, you didn't have us to kind of support because you feel better and then you're like, ah, and then you feel better. So that's why we, we, we take some time. So mm-hmm. lean on us for support. And again, this isn't the first, second, third, ninth, 12th, 81st time we've done this with someone in a very similar situation to you. It works every time. So the only mm-hmm. variable is maybe you get cut back as opposed to 20 or 30%. You're a real bad case and it's 45%. And maybe as opposed to taking two or three months for it to grow healthy again, it takes five or six months. Like, okay, no matter what, a year from now, we're going to look back and be like, oh yeah, God, this is so much better. So okay. the time frame might expand or condense a little, but it's like real estate. What's my uh, condo or house or any of the places I, what is it going to be worth in a year? I don't know. What's it going to be worth in 10 years? A ton more. <laughs> like, yeah. So if you, if you kind of get along in a thing, you're like, oh, I know it's going to win. What's going to happen in the short term? little bit of a crapshoot, but long-term if I, yeah. So you're in the right place, you're doing the right things and uh, you're, I'm very excited for your prospects. Okay. okay. And great job. So what you should be getting now is experiencing your business better no matter what. Yeah. And then the mm-hmm. money and the success and all will, will come pretty quickly. So question is, can we role play on price increase and prepay? Yeah, of course. I'd love to do that. Yeah. Um, actually, I was going to see if, so I'm in, I have that scheduled for myself next week. But I was wondering if we could do like a just a shorter question, um, because I know I signed on late. I was wondering if we could talk about like I just started in-person estimates like this week and last and they're going they're going well. Um, But one thing like I haven't been able to figure out is how to not go to the people's houses that are going to be like a disaster, how to get better about identifying that by phone instead of in person. Cause I've missed a couple of them now and I don't know what I'm missing. So two things, one, three things. One, the goal is not to, four things. <laughs> one, you're gonna do this now, eventually, and when eventually it could be, you're big enough, you can do it now. It's just a matter of priorities. You can hire a salesperson for this. So if you're like, hey, this is my life for the next year. I don't think so. This is my life for the next 15 to 150 days. Yeah. Okay. So start there. This isn't, you can, if you love it, I'm not saying you have to stop, but mm-hmm. you can hire a salesperson anytime at your revenue. First, second, the goal is not to get 0% bad fits. The goal is to get less than 20% bad fits. Oh, so okay. Okay. If you're like, every appointment has got to be great. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> if you're okay. like, generally the, the vast majority of the people I go out on are my salesperson are, are pretty good people. And again, 70, 80% is so loose. It's not like it has to be exact, but hundred okay. percent is too much. 50% okay. is too little. So just cool with that standard. Oh yeah, definitely. So like, I guess what are some like more specific questions that I can ask in the actual phone conversation? Um, so one more question for you. I want to yeah. say there's two frames. I have a couple of questions to get some specificity and then I'll tell you exactly what to do. Okay. When you say I'm going out to clients that are no good, like be specific, give me two or three examples of clients you do not want that you're going okay. Sure. So this lady, um, she just moved into her house and she had boxes. So I didn't find this out until I got to the site. So she had like boxes like everywhere. Um, and she like, when I talked to her, she was like, we moved in, we're settled and we need to have our house clean now that we moved in. But when I got there, there was just like literally boxes everywhere. She had six dogs and four birds um, and they were just like flying around everywhere. So, let me jump on on this one. Yes. There's, that's a really, and this is good because this will be a global answer for everybody. Um, one of the big mistakes I make, and this is one of my favorite things about coaching. When I coach you guys on stuff, I get better at not doing it in my own business because ask me how I know this. I've done it a bunch of times is I take an, a non-recurring thing and change and, and tempted to change my whole process over it. So okay. I get one crazy employee that's super okay. nuts. So I have a high okay. emotional response. And then I'm like, I never want that to go again. So I start changing. I'm tempted to start changing my whole hiring prospect. No, no, no. That one is nuts. Okay. So everything you told me there is a very, like, if you're, and that's why I like data, by the way. So if you're like, I did 11 bids last month Mm -hmm. and seven of them had just moved in and had 20 animals. I'm like, holy shit, we got to, we got a system. But it was just a one off. That's a one off. So I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. That and then, give me some other examples. That one I wouldn't worry about. Others we okay. might give me another couple. Okay. Um, 
but I'm really glad that I found out on site because I did not want to take that lady. I'm so glad that we didn't like one of the I'm many so reasons we bid in person, not on the phone. <laughs> I'm so glad like I didn't take that on because I would have previously and been like, we can be the zookeepers. Um, so I'm glad I said no. But uh, the, the next one was a single dad and he was uh, like, he seemed great. Uh, and I said like our base price was 175 bi-weekly and that we only either do weekly or bi-weekly cleans. Um, we don't do monthly. And he seemed like super agreeable. Um, and I could tell like he really needed the help. And then when we got there, it seemed like there was just a sticking point on price. Um, and he said like later on, like we're going to hold off and I'm not sure. Um, so, all right, let me jump in because I want to yes. get one more after this. So I want to make sure we get it. A yes. couple things. One for me, if I'm residential, mm -hmm. 90%, eh, 80% to 90% of my clients are probably going to be married. Almost always the female. So okay. single dad's not a disqualifier by any stretch. It's just it's okay. a little yellow flag. I might ask a few more questions. That's all. Not okay. a big deal. Hey, new friend. Love that you were here. If you want more Cleaning Nation, more us, you can check us out on YouTube. Similar content. You just get to see each other. It's totally free. Or if you want to say, hey, hit us up on Instagram, Twitter, join our free Facebook group. We love hearing from you, Cleaning Nation. That's what makes it magic. Jump on. We'll see you there. Second where was when you was it was this a nice home when you walked into was it yeah. our home okay uh so i mean like uh average for like where we are it was it was like three bedroom two bath and i mean in this area like average single family is like probably 350. so, so this is only a 350 home yes yeah so if my average home in my area is 350 i'm looking for six and up so okay. i probably would have disqualified him on the address i'm assuming okay, your gotcha. your place is like most where if you buy the address you kind of know what yeah. areas are not a okay no okay. i'm gonna disqualify him but like when you're like oh i told him my minimum whatever i probably wouldn't have done that unless okay. it's in that neighborhood that's kind of if it's low low rent like a bunch of renters and super cheap and like their mortgage payment or rent payment is going to be 600 bucks how the heck are they going to afford 400 for cleaning you know so i'm probably not going to do that um if it's this one which is average i would probably i wouldn't say 175 for cleaning we only that's too much math i'd probably do our average clients about 400 bucks okay um, just want to make sure we're not so i'm just going to try and disqualify them a little more more but not because it's a single dad although that's a yellow flag it's just you just do the math. It's three hundred fifty thousand dollars house. They bought it five years ago. It was two hundred. Their mortgage payments eleven hundred bucks. Who can afford a five hundred dollars cleaning if it's a eight hundred thousand dollars house? Their thing might be four. Like it just kind of a little okay. common sense. So him, I would have disqualified okay. probably off of uh, location. Okay. So then we just need to be more specific about our targeting so that we're like five hundred thousand and above. And like you said, double income. Talking to the mom. The five hundred thousand above is more important. Um, yeah. because we just have to know that they can afford it. Okay. They have to talk to the mom. Not really. It's just, I've noticed that's going to be more common. So it's not like okay. I'm not going to sell to a single dad or to a man. I'm a man for God's sakes. It's okay. just like perfect example. And I have my construction company. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm in Arizona, so we're not a border town, but we're fairly close to the border. Hispanics were just awesome. They worked harder. They were kinder people. They were core values matches. White guys coming from a white guy. Sometimes a little lazier. Does that mean I hired yeah. no white guys? No, I just had a little more questions. Does that mean if they're Hispanic, I hired them without question? No. Right. These are just things we take into consideration. So I'm not saying I'm only going to work with moms that are married that are da, da da da. I'm just saying I know what my perfect prospect looks like. And when they look like that, I smooth the, I grease the wheels for them a little faster and ask a, okay. a little fewer questions. And if okay. they're outside of my normal, I'm just going to ask a few more questions. No big deal. Okay. So then zip code was like issue for the single dad and price point of the house and then the lady that had all the animals um sometimes we're just going to get those yeah again we're looking for okay zero to three out of ten and as long as okay. we're in there it's like yeah well, it's not a perfect science like that's okay. okay okay i did actually have one other question about the price point um or sorry the um the price increases so i know that you had said to like one of the other people in our group uh the, i can't remember what her name was but she said that like she had a bunch of cleans booked for january and you were saying either raise the price or cancel the cleans. Um, I don't remember who that was. That was a couple of weeks ago. But well, let's not talk about that. Let's just talk yeah, about yeah. So I, I'm sorry. I just had a question about that specifically because I know that you, I know that you had said call people in person to raise the the prices. Yes. 
if you are canceling a clean for people you don't want or raising a price on somebody you don't want and hoping to weed them out, is that still a phone conversation or that's an email? No, it's a phone, just not to be shady. Okay. Like, you know okay. what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah, safe yeah, for whatever yeah. reason, I didn't think you were fit in our program. I wouldn't email yeah. you. Like, that's just okay. not because it's, okay. I don't need anything from you. I just don't want to be a chef. Okay. Like, that's not the right thing to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. It okay. doesn't have to be you, by the way. Like, if you've okay. got an employee that is, you know, don't have a cleaner do it. But if there's someone on your staff that is administrative mm -hmm. can handle that, it doesn't have to be you. But yeah, just that's more common courtesy than it is business okay. advice. Like, yeah, just call them. Okay. And what would you say the reason you were canceling the clean if you overscheduled or you didn't want to work with that client? Same thing. Like, you're just, we're just not a good fit. So wait, I'm confused. Are you canceling yeah. the clean because so, you can't handle well, it? Or so like this lady. Fit? Okay. So this lady who we had today that like is a monthly clean. Um, and like her price should literally be double um, and we should be going to bi-weekly. So me, call say, we're, we're choosing as a business model. We're not doing any more monthly cleans. Okay. Um, if you'd like bi-weekly, it'd be this Then month. here's a point, five, $400 a month. And, um, you know, we love to, con like we, we can continue service that way. But what if I don't, what if I don't want to keep her? Even if I, even she will pay that. What if I don't want to keep her? Why don't you want to keep her? Um, she's like really whiny and just like very uh she's just difficult is the best way to say it so i always try and rehabilitate if i can okay um, so that's why i'm like why i wasn't yeah gonna argue with you like you could yeah no, no answers, but i would say so if that was you and you were constantly complaining the, yeah this is being recorded so don't be like i gotta memorize it like you can go back and hear it so uh -huh. hey sasha mike mike's cleaning um start of the year we're doing our things a little different we uh as much as we love you we just aren't doing any more monthly cleans we're only going to every other week so i know you're at 200 bucks it'd be 450 and i know it's a lot but we're just we've underpriced you so if that makes us not a fit no we can part friends big virtual hug we're square um and then if they're like no no if they quit then i'm not going to get into it like right it's like no i think i can afford that blah 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 then i'm going to hit them with the Perfect. And I really want to make sure that we take good care of you going forward. So we've got lots of different clients and we found with you, I feel like we're letting you down a lot and you've got a lot of comments. We're just not doing a good job. So I want to make sure if we do go forward, even at the new price, especially at the new price, that we're crystal clear on what the expectations are. So if your expectations are everything's going to be perfect all the time, we're probably not going to be able to do it. And especially the higher price, God forbid you pay us more to have us frustrate. You don't want that. What I can tell you is 80, 90, sometimes 100% of the time you're going to walk into your house, you're going to feel better and loved and cared for, that it's clean and fresh and you can just relax in your own home. Not perfect. And if we make a mistake, we'll fix it. But if you're looking for perfection, like we want to follow them around and get super nitty gritty, um, you have every right to, to ask that. We're just not the best fit. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try and rehabilitate her. Okay. And if she agrees to that and she does it in a nice way. Well, then we got a client at a nice price. So okay. first I do the price. And if she parts ways, I'm not going to give the whole nonsense because she quit anyway. Okay. If she's okay. like, I'll do that. Then I'm going to push my luck a little further. <laughs> hey, okay. I need you to behave for us. To, and again, make it about them. So, hey, I'm sick of your shit, Sasha. All you do is complain. Yeah. And I'm sick of it. Like, that's not going to help anybody. Mm -hmm. You see how I made it about her and her needs. You yeah. deserve what you want. I want to make sure we can fulfill it. So let's be clear on what we're offering. And okay. if we can't give you what you want... You know, it's a little bit of the breakup. It's not you, it's me. Like yeah. you, know, you snore and you're, you never do the toothbrush and I, I don't like you. You're just going to fight back with me. But if I'm like, I'm not a good enough mate. I don't do enough. You deserve someone better. It's kind of hard for you to get in argument with me because who who could disagree with you deserve better. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So always a phone call and start with the price increase and then try to get down to the bottom of like how we can do better. Or if for we can do better. Like, so if we can do better. You and I yeah. were talking about our coaching. I need you to fly out here and hold my hand and do it with me. And yeah, you know, I expect you to uh -huh. be available 24 seven. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't go, are you out of your god dang mind? You know how much I would charge? Like, that's super rude. I'd be like, totally get that that's the level of service you're looking for. And I get it. Yeah. I would love that too. Unfortunately, yeah. not a service I can offer. So see how I'm not okay. judging you and your thing. I'm just yeah. setting standards for me and my thing. But they okay. don't have, they can met. It's okay. Like me. Not being willing to do that doesn't mean it's an unreasonable request or we have to be enemies or I have to settle your hash. It's mm -hmm. just, or I could be ridiculous, not ridiculous, but I, you know, I wouldn't do it for any price. But if I would, I'd be like, we can absolutely do that. It's 25 grand a month. Well, yeah. I'm not paying that. Yeah. That's why I would do my other program that's <laughs> a little more reasonable. So okay. if you can okay. do it, just charge an exorbitant price. If you can't or don't want to do it, just go 
super reasonable that you want that. We just not, we're not the people that can do it for you. Yeah. So if I, if, because what I often have is like, well, for the price we pay, we don't want to have like any issues, right? That's kind of like the conversation. That's so what let's it discuss is. what an issue is. If an issue yeah. is you ever find anything at missed ever, yes, then we can't, we're just not perfect. Okay. Um, okay. But okay. if is, I want to come home and most of the time it looks and feels great and I, I feel good. And every now okay. and then there's a problem. And I'm not a jerk about it. I nicely call okay. and I know you're going to fix it. Okay. So you tell me what mm -hmm. issues means. You just got to define terms. Yeah. Okay. And the cool you thing know, is when you define it like that, she'll realize she's being insane. Yeah. We do have like the picky clients that are just like, I do expect it to be perfect and not have to contact you and there not to be any issues. And I think those people, like we just, we just can't get it right. So but the I feel cool like thing is if you, if you reset, so perfect example we did earlier, I need the cheapest thing. Got it. We'll be the cheapest thing. So no insurance. No, I need insurance. Okay. Uniforms. I need uniforms training. Yeah. I need training. Okay. You start getting like, oh, I don't need the cheapest thing. So same thing with the picky, like, so, I mean, I guess I could have someone there 24 seven, um, uh -huh. probably about five grand a month. Yeah. And even then, I don't know that it'd be perfect because yeah. there's always dust and things happen. And she'd go, no, of course. Okay. So we don't need per, see, I'm going to start getting them to Okay. Define it in a way that they're being out of their gut being mind. Like for 500 bucks, my house should be perfect all the time. Like, don't be insane. Just like okay. you and I, like, yeah. I need you to come out here, move in and hold my hand and do everything for me and Jake and sell. I'm like, okay. is that really what you want? Or do you just want confidence and certainty that you're going to be at X amount of revenue next month? You're like, okay, that's what I want. See, and if yeah. you go, no, I need you to hold my hand. I'm like, oh, then I just don't do that. So I'm going to get clear. Okay. Most of the time, the fussy people, what they're really saying is I had shitty part of my life. I had crappy cleaners yeah. before mm -hmm. that were unreliable and I don't want that. So we yeah. get clear on, I'm going to keep my word. We're going to make mistakes, but we're going to make it right. And the mistakes are going to be, but if you're going to hide a little thing and then look for it and be like, ha ha, I found it. And you make mm -hmm. yourself miserable. Mm -hmm. You don't need, I was, that sounds like an awful way to live. I, I don't want to be a part of that. Like, yeah, best of luck. Okay. And she might've been thinking she would do that. And when you tell the story like that, she'd be like, oh no, I don't mean that at all. So yeah. once you give them the chance to verbalize it in a way, same mm -hmm. thing with the price. He doesn't look for the lowest price. He just, no one's ever taught him how to buy properly. So when mm. you teach him, okay, we can do it for nickel, but there'll be gangsters that are yeah. you know, work release that'll- Take you know, all your stuff. Have, that are, yeah, that steal and burn things down. Mm. Oh, I can't yeah. have that. Okay, so you don't want the cheapest. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So when you mm. start defining that for them, you give them the space to go in their own mind. Yeah, I guess that's pretty unreasonable. Like what I really yeah. want is just to feel like I'm being treated fairly. Or if they double down, no, that's exactly what I need. Oh, now I know we can't work together. Like, okay. <laughs> now I'm super okay. clear. I gave you the chance to be reasonable. You didn't take it. So now I feel okay. good about parting friends. Okay. Okay. I've got a lot of phone calls coming up. Yeah. And it'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. You got this girlfriend. Well, here we are at the end of the podcast and you made it. Great job. Uh, I've got a little bonus for you before for sticking through with me, but like I mentioned before, if you got value out of this podcast and you want to show a little love, subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes, Spotify, wherever the heck you're listening to this thing, share it with a friend, share the love. And as a special thank you for those of you that stuck with me to the end, how about I give you my personal phone number so we can text? It's a great way for me to get to know you, your business, your goals personally. So shoot me a text now, 602-932-6431, 602-932-6431. I am the only one who responds to these texts, and I will personally respond to everyone I possibly can, as long as uh, this number is manned. I uh, don't know how long we're going to keep this at the end of the podcast, so grab it now. 602-932-6431. Give me a text. Say hey. Can't wait to meet you.